believe that is for Jesus. Thank you very much. I'm here to give a speech on behalf of the students. One thing we learned from our father and elder that came two days ago, I believe, uh, Elder Matthew Wojai, he told us that um, we don't clap. He told us that um, the donkey that carried Jesus when he was coming into Jerusalem, uh, that donkey should never ever think that people we are putting their clothes down for him. We learned that also through the Alive Mentorship Program. We learned that we are nothing and that Christ in us is everything. So, um, Paul said, I count all my previous experience as dung for the excellency of the knowledge of God. I was surprised that as they called my bio, they referred more to my secular um, experience. I would have preferred that I'm simply referred to as a laborer for Christ. I'm here to give this speech on behalf of the whole student's body. I'm the least qualified in the kingdom of God. And um, I start by thanking the Lord God Almighty for this awesome opportunity. This morning as we prayed, where we stay at the hotel with my team, I told them that um, I'm in a season where the Lord is constraining me, as it were, to do things for him. I'm here not by my own uh, will, but it was miraculous. Um, that Pastor David was used to make me a student and it was a life-changing encounter for me and I believe for all my colleagues, my brothers and my sisters. Um, it was not just another Bible school or religious teaching, it was where we met with the life of God. The divine life was infused in us through our father, our spiritual leader, and the various faculty that he brought by virtue of his relationship. We had lecturers from India, United States of America, um, Canada, and uh, every part of Nigeria. Local school in Akure, but yet a, of a global impact. We want to thank the Lord for that. Again, I thank the Lord, God Almighty, for how he helped each and every one of us. It was a very tough six months. There was discipline from our rector. I don't call him coordinator. He's the rector of a college. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> My first daughter recently graduated, and it was the 300 and something graduation. The school was founded in the 18th century or 17th century. And I read, when they started, they had just nine people that convocated. Today we are 42. They were nine. I see with the eye of faith, in 20, 50, 100, 200 years from now, if Jesus does not come, that this Alive Mentorship School is going to be a great institution, ranking with the likes of Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, in Jesus' mighty name. These colleges I just mentioned were started by religious leaders. Christian religious leaders. Cambridge, Oxford, Harvard, they were started just like this. So again, I decree, I proclaim that a life mentorship school in the next decades, centuries, will become one of the greatest institutions in the world in Jesus' mighty name. I want to particularly thank all our lecturers I want to thank the students, the leadership of, of, um, of our life mentorship school, particularly Pastor Emeka and uh, Pastor Femi Olajibu. I want to thank um, all the team leads. You know, we were, we were, we were divided into, team, into teams and um, about eight teams or so. So we had our own interactions in those uh, groupings. It was a blessing meeting with um, new people. Why I wanted my bio read is to encourage 
uh, some of our brothers friends in the congregation i am getting close to my to my sixth, to my sixth floor so i am I've had my bio i am married i'm a pastor if i can make it by the grace of god i see a lot of us here that are going to enroll for the next session in jesus mighty name somebody's not saying amen. amen i'm not here to preach but to speak on behalf of my brethren i also want to thank um, our mother our sister it was an online program but throughout the six months as pastor taught his wife our sister pastor grace would sit by his side for those six months the lectures were from 9 p.m to 12 a.m but at times they went into 1 a.m i the second lecture pastor gave was on discipline so he told all of us discipline i said peter you are going to be disciplined so what i did in the daytime i was i must sleep you know i'm an elder i will sleep be prepared then when it is nine i will get my coffee i will drink coffee then my eyes open because pastor said discipline pastor grace would sit by his side all through the program and that to me just exemplified you know marriage she was a student but she was also one of the leaders at times she would stand at times you will see the, the one of the children i think they would come she would carry day but she stood by her husband throughout the six months i think somebody should give uh, some thanks for our sister pastor grace thank you so much for your hospitality for your love and for your heart i want to thank also the faculty that is here represented i can see that these are men and women that have stayed with our rector for a long time thank you so much sir god bless you sir i also want to before i especially thank our um rector on behalf of the class in just two minutes i want to state what i believe this class is going to offer to subsequent classes in our life mentorship school praise the name of the lord every class you have a project and subject to the final approval of our rector we have spoken we are instituting a global a life mentorship school a, an alumni a life mentorship school that is going to be global i discovered in my travels that the jews the Muslims, the Indians, the Chinese, they have a community. If you go to some cities in America, you will see the Jews, they are less than 1%. But they own the cities, they own the universities, they own the businesses, they are in charge. Nobody becomes America president without the Jews. Yet, they are less than 1%. The Muslims also. The Chinese also, the Indians also, I discovered that they don't change their identity in America. America doesn't consume them. You will see the Indians, they will still use that they are sorry. The wives are at home, the husbands are working. You see the Muslims, they will wear that they are stuff. The Jews will wear that they are cap. You see their children in school. The children are not consumed by the decadent culture of the environment. So I began to study them and I found out that they were true to their culture, to their identity. But I also discovered that in my church, among the Pentecostals and the Black Americans, they come to church on Sunday two hours and they are scattered for the next seven days. These other people I studied, they stayed together during the seven days. They did business together. They, they shopped together. Their wives would go to the market, buy in wholesale, and share for each other. 
they were not just Sunday, Sunday people. They were part of a, a, a community. So with that unit, even though they were less than 1%, they took control of the city. Yesterday, pastor gave us an injunction. He said, love one another. I will not give the details here, but I want you to know that there's going to be a community where we will interact on the economic front, social front, our women and children will be integrated in a new program coming up for teens and children. We have techies in our midst. I came in with some of my team, business team people, and we have been privileged to exploit the great capacities in our midst in the person of Pastor David Abubakar, Pastor Femi Olajubu, and Sister Gift Halima. In private sessions, they met with my team and I knew that if I gave them 10 million naira for those one hour sessions, it would not be too much. And we have them in our midst here. The Jews make sure that money does not leave their community until it goes around eight times. Recently, I had a project somewhere in Lagos. For just the doors to the whole building, I spent more than, you know, close to 15 million for the project for the client. In my church, the brother in my department, we are into pray we are prayers. We pray. That was my department. He does doors. I did not know what he did. Because we were Sunday, Sunday people. Hi, hi, and we go. That is about to change. What we offer as alumni, as the first class to a life mentorship school is to initiate and start a community to exemplify the injunction and the charge of our father to us tomorrow that we should love one another so watch out we are going to reach out to you as we work together as a team with pastor pastor maker and pastor femi as we build this so that we are not just out of each other's life after six months we are going to continue hearing after. Finally, I don't know why they gave a lawyer to make speech. I met Pastor Bubaka five years ago, Jerry, but like he will say on a business meeting. And with the eyes of the Spirit, I followed him. And after I followed him, I observed his life, his marriage his business, his work ethics, his parenting, his interactions, his life. And since then, like Andrew, I have gone to bring people to say, come and see a leader that is like Jesus. It has not been disappointing. Thank you. Thank you very much. In a life, in a life mentorship school, we did not pay a couple. We didn't pay for forms. We didn't pay for anything. Six months, pastor poured out his life into us. Brought his friends all over the world to pour their lives into us just for the motivation of love so that we can be better people. Jesus has his reward in his hands when he meets with him. But for now, we can honor him. And with one voice, let's please stand up and let's all say, Thank you, Pastor David. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God reward you. God increase your capacity for the work he has called you to do. The Lord establish you, establish your wife and your children in his palace. There's greater works for you, sir. The Lord brings you to a place of an expanded place. He releases and infuses upon you new capacities, new prophetic unction for that global work that he has called you to do for him. So the Lord bless you. The Lord calls his eyes to shine upon you. The Lord goodness and mercy is upon you, upon your wife, Sister Grace. 
and upon all your children in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor Peter Adobame. Can we appreciate this man? Hallelujah. Some of us learned meekness from him. He's an elderly man. And yet he was so meek to learn. 